Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I want to give you my personal review on episode 9 of We Are. I already did my reviews on episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Links are in the description below, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, it's the trip day, and Poom told Peem he can't believe that Peem left him and went to sleep, and he needed the help with picking out outfit because homeboy said he has a lot of clothes. Then we see third wheeler. A big disclaimer, I will continue calling him third wheeler throughout the entire review. Let's move on. Honestly, I forgot about him joining the trip. And right now, Poom is not liking his presence. When they went on the bus, third wheeler got Peem to sit with him and poor Poom is not happy about that. Then Poon sees Toy and told Toy to go sit with Chain. I feel like Poon is having way more fun with this plan. Just the fact that Peem is enjoying himself with third wheeler got to Peem because it's not him that is making Peem laugh. When they got to the camp place and got in a room, they all were assigned to pick a bedding. And because Poom sees that Peem picked his bed, he ran to pick one beside him because he doesn't want third wheeler to sleep beside Peem. And also he asked Toy to sleep beside him because he doesn't want third wheeler to be anywhere near them. Then Poon made it clear to Tan, Peem, and Chain that the camp trip is not the only reason they're there, but to get Q to show his feelings to Toy. Whenever Poon shows his leader skills here, it's hard to believe he sometimes acts stupid. I love how they're having fun with the children. I feel like GMMTV is really volunteering and putting it all in the script. They have been doing unique games that I don't even know about, but it looks fun though. Now it's time for some indoor activities of drawing and Peem is the art teacher. So a child asked Poom to draw a whale for him, but he ended up drawing a fish. Then Peem came and he was about to draw it and then third wheeler came, but now Poom is not happy that third wheeler came. Poom moved to another kid and because Peem is with third wheeler, Poom asked the kid to get Peem over and asked to draw a lion and Poom will give him a chocolate. And of course the kid told the plan to Peem. Hey, either way it worked. I'm telling you, I feel like this whole volunteer work is real and they're doing it in the show as part of the show. Chain then used the opportunity to be cute with Toy in front of Q to get him jealous. And trust me, it's working because Q jealousy is showing, but he won't admit it to Toy. Then we in the kitchen and Kao Fang is in charge of food, but when he asks for the help, they're not so much helpful. Even his boyfriend, who snuck a smooth kiss, was not so helpful, but he did something. After art class was over, little boy went to Poom for his chocolate that he was promised. Poom never make promises to kids, they will forever remember that. He got his chocolate though. Anyways, at lunch Poom noticed third wheeler and immediately knew the reason he came. It was because of Peem. See, sometimes Poom used his brains. And as you can see, when Poom heard that, he is not so happy and Peem sees. Later, Poom sees Peem with third wheeler washing place and because Poom doesn't like that third wheeler is close to Peem, he interferes to help but Poom caused way more mess than just help. At this point, we can all agree that Poom let his jealousy got the best of him. Anyways, because Peem went to take a shower, Poom and third wheeler wanted to hurry to join him but by the time they got there, Peem already finished. After Peem left them, Third Wheeler told Poom that he likes Peem. Third Wheeler thinks he got a competition, but he doesn't know he lost the game before it even started. Anyways, when Peem got inside, he looked at Tan to ask how his love for Kao Fang started. And I speak with everyone when I say I want to know the story too. So the story is that in high school, Tan and Kao Fang never started off nice. In fact, Kao Fang came and started fighting Tan and Tan didn't back down either, he fought back. Kinda sound like Poom and Peem's story. 
and at the time Tana told them when he had a busted lip he told them he fell off a bike because Tan said at that time they told Tan if that Tan got into another fight they will stop being his friend so he had to lie to them. Anyways, Tan started becoming friends with Kao Fang and Poom back then when he helped the brothers from a gang fight. And his feelings started when he started seeing Kao Fang's kind side. Honestly, I thought the story would start off as Kao Fang saved Tan, but instead, their story started off from enemies to lover. Tan loves Kao Fang so much, he started thinking future with Kao Fang. Pim couldn't sleep and third with her sees and sat next to him and at a distance poor Poom sees and feeling sad. And of course the friend of Poom sees, he knows what's up from day one. The friend then sat beside Poom and Poom basically told the friend exactly the story of how Pim and him end up up close and the fact that the slave deal and all that stuff. Then the friend basically told Poom he knows that Poom likes Peem and that even though Peem doesn't show it, he knows and ever since then he sees Poom and Peem always being together and he's happy to see that because ever since then Poom has been happy. He also told Poom that he needs to make his feelings known or else someone will steal Peem from him then went to sleep because Poom said he's taking a fresh air. Then Peem came to check on Poom because it's obvious Peem sees something is bothering him but Poom left and told Peem he needs the time alone. Everyone is getting ready to sleep and Peem is getting worried because Poom has not showed up. But can we talk about how Toy is the only one who prayed before going to bed? Poom finally came and Peem, being a cute boyfriend to be, asked Poom to talk to him on what is bothering him, but Poom refused to talk. One thing's for sure though, Poom can never be upset with Peem for long. I'm telling you, third wheeler lost the day he thought it's okay to flirt with Peem. I feel right here Pooh might not care about the people around them to give Peem a kiss, but I feel Peem does. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on episode 9 of We Are. Stay tuned for my review on episode 10. And as always, if you like my reviews, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, hit notification bell so you never miss any of my videos, and I will see you next time.